Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Perry Wellness Center, 302 East Fellow Street, America, Georgia. We is here for um, Southern Bruce, Men's Health. We love it out here. We have eight counties that we represent, and this is rural Georgia, so there's a lot of people getting up early in the morning. Yes, so I told them. buses and get here. Transit. Transits. And we've been very fortunate to have really good leadership. The uh, Mr. and Mrs. Millard Fuller from Habitat, who uh, we have been Big supporters of ours, uh, Ms. Rose and Carter. Uh, it's been uh, just an incredible support of ours. You know, they give us the tools and it's up to us to go use them. You know, we take the stuff that people give us and how they support us and we go to work. We have doctors who recommend you to come to our program. It's word of mouth. We do an intake program. We scan a lot of people who come in here to make sure that you make the right fit for our programs. We have a contract for the Division of Mental Health where we accept Medicaid. We're not state funded. We have gardens, we have all kind of fun fundraising programs that we do to make our own money and stuff. Uh, our farmer's market is unreal. I've been in the market for uh, almost four years now. Uh, most of the money that comes through the market uh, goes, goes through my hands. And uh, I really appreciate Stuart for giving me the opportunity to you know, help out in the market. I am uh, disabled. I've been that way ever since uh, October of 2000. And all of our peers run this whole place ourselves. We sell tomatoes, we sell collard greens, turnips. We got beautiful plants, hanging baskets. Everything that grows up in the springtime, we sell it. And I am a good salesman. Thank you, man, be a blessed day. And it's also very, very therapeutic by uh, working in these projects. When the flower dies, we take a leaf of the flower, we put in the dirt in the soil, and we grow it. And it catches root and it grows back. And we remind them, when they plant that seed of that plant, they're producing another life, another living thing. Each two seeds produces one large cactus plant. We run this whole campus and stuff. We, uh, we do groups, we have gardening, we have uh, exercise programs, uh, we've got all kind of education programs. But nobody knows it better than somebody who's ever been through the experience of it. Uh, it's real unique. It's a cutting edge. Uh, there are a lot of professionals before that didn't believe people with mental illness or substance abuse could take care of themselves. Well, we're, we're making a difference and showing we can take. 2010 uh, peer, uh, Mental Health Program of the Year. The top Stuff. mental health provider in Georgia. Of the year. And we were very excited about that. And that's pretty unique when you're a little center down here like us and you can go up against all the big towns and the big cities and stuff and you know so it says a lot to our team that we have. When we see somebody come through there we can bond with you because we've been there and it's making that connection right there we have a very strong bond. It doesn't cost you anything just come and if you want to help yourself then you can get help and, and I don't think it is if you want to help Stuart will help you. Our criteria for people who come to our program is that you have to have a diagnosis of mental illness. This whole center, all of our staff members are made up of people who suffer from depression or have a substance abuse problem. I've been going to the center ever since 1984, having missed too many days, and I am a 52-year-old 52 52 lady, and what I do without the center, I wouldn't know. I lived on the streets of Atlanta for about eight years homeless because of my uh, <clears throat> disability and my substance abuse. I was delivered in October of 2000 and I've been clean for five years now. Stuart found me one day and just asked me would I just come and try, you know, try the place out and see what I like it. And I've been coming ever since, which was back maybe in the 90s. Myself, I suffer from major depression. I never dreamed when I was a teenager or a young adult that I would wake up one day and I would go into delusions. 
that I would go into suicide thoughts. Uh, that wasn't the type of person I was. But when the brain starts to shut down and the chemicals start to shut down, uh, some strange things can happen to you. I advise anybody that want to come and get help and try it out, they're like it. They can actually have a, um, a say-so in everything that we do. It helps them with their self-esteem. You can actually see people that's come in this program. We've had some, we've had some people come in here that wouldn't even hardly speak. And now they're out there not just speaking and, and, and talking, they're out there leading their own groups. They're going back into the community. We have some that are getting jobs for the first time. And we have uh, people going to local college and get their GED, and that is encouraging other peers to get involved and do that too. I'm now enrolled in uh, South Georgia Tech, and I'm taking up a trade of computer networking. Uh, this is my second semester and uh, I'm holding down about a B average right now. That's a real big thing I see, is people find, trying to find a way to help other people, other peer, peer members, you know, and it's happening. It's becoming a family, a broader family. I'm a mama to them all, and I enjoy being here if it weren't for Stuart Perry and Miss Pam. I really don't know what, you know, what would have happened to me, and uh, I'm enjoying Every moment of it, I get to cook for them, and I get to feed them, and it make me feel real good about it. If it did make me feel good, I don't think I'd get up at 5 o'clock every morning and come out here. It made me feel wonderful. It's basically volunteer work for me. I do it uh, because I enjoy it. Uh, the uh, job part is, is, is more of a reward than a job. A lot of people with um, mental illness it felt like they didn't have a purpose in life. And they were stigmatized. And that's one thing that we work on very strongly about the stigma and try to erase the stigma. To see them today, so many of them today, uh, how they have grown and how they have more confidence, that's what this whole program is about. Helping you to rebuild your life, to get stronger and better, where you can go out and, and, and accomplish all your dreams. They can offer them a lot of support, a lot of help, a lot of friends. You can get to talk to people that's, you know, that's been there, that, that you know, maybe have some addiction that they have. And we have all, t all type of addiction, because I got a mild depression, and it's ho it, it helps me a lot. Depression, for a long time, has been an ugly head for a lot of folks. People have not understood it mental illness. But mental illness is just like heart disease, diabetes, any other illness. With right medications, right therapy, right people working with you, you can have an incredible life. And that's what we're seeing out here on our place here and in our community. It's really exciting to see the people in our community that has embraced us and that are supporting us. People are coming more and more to realize that it's safe. That's the big thing. It's safe, and when they leave, they're smiling about what they, what they went through and experienced down here. Our artwork plays a huge impact. We're very blessed to have a young man named Jeff Williams on our staff. Jeff is an incredible artist, and if and on our grounds here, when you pull in here, it blows you away just by seeing all the beauty. He's been selected for the Louvre and some of his work, and. Kentucky Derby, and he's got some other projects coming on. This whole thing was gas tanks everywhere, gas pumps everywhere, oil houses, tire houses, everything. And so now we've been able to take the whole place and just redesign it and make something out of it. And it's, uh, we started with a little grass and a six or seven trees to plant it That's it. Yeah, started with nothing. Everything out here is designed by Jeff and the peer budget. Jeff got the know-how, and we just come in and help him. We call him MacGyver, Jeff MacGyver. Yeah. He can take anything and make right. something out of it. Anything. Can, anything. anything. Right. We're in the process of just building this. This is the walkway coming up to another greenhouse. And Morning Glory is um, planted so it'll grow up real pretty. But I mean, to have that kind of talent, who's willing to donate his time and expertise is incredible. It really is. An, he's an incredible addition to this, this whole family of people who believe in mental health and what we're doing. The art also is an incredible coping skill with so many people who have mental illness and disabilities. You'll find out in the world that so many folks who have 
Schizophrenia, bipolar illnesses are some of the best artists you can ever imagine. Um, and if you look around here, you'll see the talents that we have with so many of our peers that are here. Everything that you see on this campus is being built by them. This um, fire pit was built by maybe two weeks ago already in use. Our gardens, our fountains out here, our koi pond, the market, they do every bit of themselves, the paintings and stuff. Just because you have an illness does not mean that you are limited to the things that you can do in life. My family has given us, donated the whole land to us here uh, to let us develop it and to fix it up and, uh, and that's what we're working at. We're gonna build uh, another building twice that size because we're growing so fast and everything because the state is closing down mental health hospitals and they're coming to local communities and we got people on the waiting list to come here because it's, it's been so good and the promotion has been good. The, to be the top me uh, mental health provider in the state of Georgia some years ago is not bad. And so we expect more growth and more programs and everything because we listen. The main thing is we listen to the peers of what they want us to do to help their life. What we're doing is exciting about it since our business is growing so good, we're hiring a lot of our peers. I can't wait most of the time for Monday to come so I can come and you know, and be with them and talk with them because I know that I'm helping somebody and somebody's helping me. Just because you have an illness and stuff, we have incredible medicines out there, incredible doctors that can treat you to help you. And because of those medicines, and I tell folks all the time, because of what God has given man, you're sitting here right now and I'm being able to have 20 of the best years of my life just because what God has given man to learn about our bodies and minds. You know, I do a lot of praying. You have to do a lot of praying to help. And by talking with some of the staff and some of the peers, you know, and, and they are a great help. They're my best friends. They're just a family. All of us have got to learn to accept people who we think are mentally ill. They, everybody has something to give. And because I went through a brain injury and everything, People have got to realize, I've written two books and here I am talking to you right now today. And recovery is a great thing, but you have to have grace in God and, and believe in that because they're here and these people are so kind to other people and, and it's good to be together and share things and, and open up and share with you and, and just hope for what's coming because I think great days ahead for Perry Wellness Center.